Hey, so far we have been working with a lot of resources such as IDs, drawables, layouts and color. And uh, Android also provides you with its own resources which, is, which are called as built-in resources. And in this video I'm going to show you how to use these built-in resources right from your XML layout as well as from your Java code. First let's deal with uh, string resources. When I click on the text view you can see that we have a text property that is pointing to a string resource that is declared within our project. And the notation for referring to string resources is at the rate of string slash the resource name. Let's go ahead and try to change this to a built-in resource. Clicking on the ellipsis button will take you to a resource chooser from where you can choose resources either from your project or from the system. The system resources or the built-in Android resources Let's select system resources and here you can see we have a list of resources that we can use the cancel, copy, copy URL, cut and these are some of the default uh, string resources that are bundled along with Android. You can also notice that we have a slight change in the notation usually when you are using a project resource you begin with at the rate of string slash and the name of the resource. Whereas when you are referring to resources that are bundled along with Android, you have to do an at the rate of Android colon followed by string. And this notation is common to all other uh, built-in resources. So if you want to refer to a color resource, you do at the rate of Android colon color slash and name of the color. And in case if you want to refer to a drawable, you do at the rate of Android colon drawable slash and name of the drawable resource. The only uh, difference when you are referring to your project resource and the Android resource is the Android column prefix that you have to place in between the at the rate of symbol and your resource type. So this is the only difference. Project resources start with at the rate of resource type slash and built-in resources start with at the rate of Android colon resource type slash. That's the only difference. Let's go ahead and select copy and let me click on OK. You can see that currently this text view is using a built-in string resource. Let's go ahead and drag an image view into this layout. I'm going to images and media and here I have an image view that which I'm going to place below the text view. And here again we are presented with two options. One is the project resources option and the other one is the system resources option. Let's go ahead and select system resources and here we have a list of resources that we can use. Let's go ahead and choose any of these. Let me select the IC underscore menu delete. Click on OK. And here I have uh, I'm using a built-in drawable resource. Let's go ahead and inspect the source property. You can see that the drawable resource is referred using at the rate of Android colon drawable slash IC menu delete and this is an area that is worth exploring because there are a lot of built-in properties not just string and drawable there are also other resources such as layout colors styles attributes and IDs you can just access them using the at rate of Android colon and the resource type slash name of the resource we'll be using the layout resources when we are working with the list view and spinner view components in Android and uh, the general idea behind all these built-in resources is when you're accessing them from XML instead of doing a rate of resource type slash the resource name which you do with the project resources you're going to do an at rate of Android colon resource type slash the resource name that's the only difference and this area has a lot of things which I leave it to you to explore. There are a lot of resources that you can use and uh, it is not possible to show each and everything. So that is how you access built-in re resources from your XML. And now let me go to the source folder and from the resource ac resources activity.java file I'm going to show you how to access the same resources from Java. You can notice we have the r.java file which is inside our gen folder and this r.java file contain, contains uh, references to all 
project resources. In case if you want to access the built-in or the system resources, all you have to do is to access the R file that is part of the Android framework. I'll show you how to do that. Here, let's go ahead and do an Android dot R dot. And here you have a list of other inner classes such as layout which contains resource identifiers for built-in layout resources. You have the anim property which contains built-in animation resources for view animation and the animator class contains built-in animation resources for property animation. Followed by you have array resources, attributes, boolean resources, color resources, dimensions, trouble's fractions, IDs, integers, and we have a lot of other uh, resources such as interpolators, menus, map maps, plurals, raw resources, string resources, tile resources, XML resources. So you can access them using the android.r.import. So that's uh, the thing. Uh, in this video, I gave you a brief introduction on how to use built-in Android resources from your XML and from your Java code. This area is worth exploring, so please sit down and try to explore into each and every resource that is readily available with Android. And if you have any questions, please feel free to ask.